This AI is better than Sales Navigator, better than Perplexity, and it may even be better than Apollo when it comes to finding people or companies that you want to connect with. It's called Deep Lookup. It's from a company called Bright Data, and it doesn't just search LinkedIn or some database on a website somewhere. It uses the entire internet. It's amazing, and I want to show you how it works. And so this is the actual site. I, uh, I ran a test earlier on a company that I'm also involved with in the construction industry. I wanted to see how well it did pulling a lot of detailed information about companies with, within a certain size. And it did a pretty good job of it. I'm not going to work on that. That was just the test that I ran. Uh, what I will tell you is right now, and I don't know how long this is going to last, you get three trial runs of this uh, deep lookup for free. And so if you have a need for this sort of thing, I would highly suggest you go over, get signed up and run your reports now because this program right now, the deep research or deep lookup, excuse me, is still in beta. So they're still doing some testing, but I think you're going to be really impressed with what this can do. So I've used one of my three. Let's come back here to deep lookup and let's just do a new lookup. And it, you'll notice the interface looks a lot like what you would expect. And I started thinking through what I could do with this. And so I've started to get more and more into artificial intelligence since I started this podcast. And especially since I started building automations for myself and for some of my clients. And I thought, you know, what would be a good test here? I want to build out my, uh, my connections here locally in Scottsdale in Arizona where I live of other people who are working in the AI niche. And so what I decided to do was I just created this little prompt that says, find all professionals working in artificial intelligence who also live in the greater Phoenix metropolitan area, including their LinkedIn profiles. And the idea here is not only will I be able to reach out to them and connect with them on LinkedIn, but I could potentially find some other data as well. So I'm just going to hit go. Oh, it says I'm not signed in. I got to re-sign it. Okay, now that we fixed that, got signed back in, I'm just going to go ahead and click go. And very quickly, it's going to start going out and pulling data on the people that I want and creating kind of a snapshot in here of those folks. And this takes a few minutes for it to run. I won't make you watch the whole thing. We'll just come back and then I'll show you what we've got. Okay, and so here we go. We have our first little batch here of folks, and you can look in here, and one of the things is, so it eliminated a few of the people that it found because they don't live in the Phoenix area. Uh, but then we look over here, a lot of these are professors, and we got one ch uh, chief science officer, but we really are looking for people who are not in academia because we want to connect with other business owners and other people who are actively building and creating in the AI space. So what I can do is come in here and I can sort of refine the search. I want, I want professionals who don't work in academia. Please limit your search to those outside of colleges and we're going to go again and now we're going to sort of refine this search and it says we can do some other stuff in here what aspects uh, personalized areas machine learning nlp computer version uh professor seniority level what we basically said is hey i don't want I don't want the professors. I just want actual folks. So again, we'll let this run now that we've got our, uh, you know, we've done some refining and we'll see what else it comes up with. Okay, so now we're done with our initial refinement. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here to run deep lookup. And what it's going to do is it's not, it's now going to go out and do deep research across the internet to try and find not just people that I, I'm looking for, but also a host of people who maybe don't fit all of my criteria, but who fit enough of it that it might be worth reaching out to those people and connecting with them uh, on something like LinkedIn as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click run deep research. Now, I will tell you, this is going to take a minute. It may take you, I mean, it could take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. It really just depends on how long it takes the AI to go out and scrape all of the different websites. But keep in mind, it's searching the entire internet, not just certain databases or uh, certain applications or websites. It's literally going out and trying to find people across the internet that would be good to potentially connect with here. 
Okay, while we're waiting for that to finish processing, I want to take a minute and tell you about our sponsor, Motion. Are you ready to 10x your team's output? Meet your new AI employees from Motion, the world's first agentic work suite built to supercharge productivity for high-performing teams. Like imagine hiring enterprise-grade AI members in minutes, not months. An AI executive assistant who can schedule your calendar and reply to emails. An AI sales rep who can find leads and handle outreach. An AI customer support specialist solving tickets 24-7. And even your very own AI project manager, marketing associate, recruiter, or researcher. Each with pre-built skills already installed, which means no coding or prompting required. You can start a free trial to see exactly what I'm talking about in the link in the description and see why over a million teams and top performers trust Motion to get more done. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is wild. This is what I love about this. It considered 38, almost 38,000 web pages, and it read 7,000 of them looking for people that I want, might want to connect with, and it did an awesome job job. So now that we've got all this information, what can we do with it? Well, if we come down here to download, we can just download this CSV and we grab it here. And then what I like to do is open up a Google sheet and then I come to file import. And then I think what we can do is we can just drag this down in here and boom, look at this. Look at the information that we've got. First of all, we have the URL that they used. So Olivia Scott here, we can see that she's got her own website. We come across here. Let's see if she's got a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn profile. So not all of them have LinkedIn profiles, but we also have all of the other emails. So we do have some in here. So somewhere we didn't get LinkedIn profiles over here because it skipped them because they weren't the perfect match. We do have LinkedIn profiles over here. So what I can do is I can just start checking these people out. Senior product manager at Oracle. Yeah, that's great. She's probably not a perfect fit for this, which is why it skipped over her. But we come back up here to the top. We take a look at some of these. Let's take a look at... Vice President, AML Platform Engineering, AI Services and Governance. Yeah, from Phoenix, Arizona. That's somebody I want to be connected with. Absolutely. In fact, let's just connect with them right now. My point is, you can now take this data and break it out, parse it however you want. And it did all of it in about 20 minutes. So I... I think this has the potential to be something amazing. Like I said, it's still in beta, so we're not, I'm not sure what it's going to become, but just the fact that you can go out and look over the entire internet, not just a single site or a, you can go and look up information. So if you wanted to get very specific, I'll give you an example. Let's say if you wanted to get in touch with um, founders of startups that had done their series A funding and had revenue above $3 million, right? Well, not all of that information is going to be available on LinkedIn. The, the, you're going to have to go outside of that and search on other platforms in order to try and acquire that information. So that's where this becomes infinitely more valuable is when you need information that can't regularly be accessed from one platform or you need to go pull from multiples. And we all know you can use Apollo, you can use Zoom Info if you want to. The problem is... Those can be very expensive platforms. Their data is very expensive. And you yes, you can use Appify or something else if you want to to try and end around that and sort of like capture that data without having to pay such high fees for it. Uh, can't do that with Zoom Info, obviously, but you can do it with uh, things like Apollo. But I'm, if you look at the cost of this, and this is what's funny to me, is I'm not entirely sure how much this is going to run we come back here to uh, and look at some of the data pricing. I'm assuming that this, so if, as we see, deep uh, lookup is in beta. But if we come to the other scraping sites, it's the pricing is relatively reasonable. It's about one dollar point five for a thousand records. I mean, that's a little expensive when you think about something like Appify. But in many cases, that's about what you're going to pay, and a hundred a dollar fifty for you know, a thousand records is not that bad in terms of their pricing. So I don't know. Customer scraping starts at four hundred dollars a month. Um, so it does. There, some of the other stuff is more expensive. 
But a lot of this, you know, SERP API requests, pay as you go, 75 cents per thousand results. That's, I mean, that's not terrible. Um, so anyway, I don't know where this is going to end up coming in in terms of the pricing of this long term. I haven't looked into that, but take the time, go check it out right now before they terminate this, uh, this opportunity to go and have uh, three free searches. And let me know what you think. Leave me in the note in the comments. Was this valuable? What else do you want to know about? I'm going to keep bringing it to you. Talk to you later.